Hi Aries, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. Let's take a look at your intuitive energy reading and what you need to know at this particular time regarding your situation. We're looking at love, life, career, money, um, success, anything in between spirit wishes to um, have revealed to you. So opening up, we're looking at Four of Swords with the Page of Cups. Oh, now this is interesting because this is showing up as like a little pleasant surprise, almost like a sneak attack, you know, like you don't see it coming, but what is coming, you're not going to be too mad about it. The four of swords. Now this could be you, <laughs> Aries. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are like sleeping. Okay. People are sleeping on you and then you pop up and you're like, surprise, I'm here. I'm bigger. I'm better. Um, but I do see it, it's something that's going to be happening to you as well, Aries, with the Four of Swords. There is this energy of rest, uh, going like in hibernation mode. There's like this energy of uh, being, you know, like on hiatus. And then all of a sudden we see something popping up when you least expect it. Now, it could be that some of you may have taken a break from love because the Page of Cups does represent love. It could be that some of you may have taken a break from pursuing your passion too because the Page of Cups, it taps into your heart space. So maybe you loved to do a particular hobby or craft. Maybe it was something that you loved um, doing in your spare time, reading a book, watching Netflix, uh, but you just needed a break. It could be like social media too, um, but there is this energy of taking a break, letting it cool down, um, allowing yourself to detach, but there's some type of news coming in, okay? That may <laughs> wake you up from your slumber, so to speak. So love may be coming when you least expect it. Um, opportunities may be coming around the corner as well. Ooh, look at this. We see the nine of wands with the two of cups. Okay, another energy that we see here too is that the nine of cups, or I'm sorry, the nine of wands, it shows an energy of abundance. So you are abundantly going to find yourself working hard to make something come alive bringing this vision together. The two of cups, it shows the togetherness happening. So I wouldn't be surprised if someone is really working hard to <laughs> come back together with you, Aries, um, or come together just to solidify something. It doesn't necessarily mean an ex. It could be maybe someone's really, really working hard to create a relationship with you. It could be a family member. You know, they are trying to reconcile and maybe, you know, um, you know, just repair a relationship. Could be your colleagues, your boss, it, you know, a company. It's like there's this energy of like they are going to try whatever they can do to make this work. Now, again, it could be you too, Aries. Like you are going to, once the, this cup comes into your life, this pr surprise, the nine of wands shows everything being stacked up, but not giving up. The resiliency is there. So there's this dedication of like, okay, I'm going to make this foundation work. I'm working hard to create this blissful um, union. Now, it reminds me too, some of you may be out of uh, your job or you may be just uh, retired and maybe like looking for a job or looking for something to fill the void or fill your time. And um, Aries, that's kind of what's coming in here too because this energy shows, again, you not really just kind of being like in quiet mode. Um, and maybe you're finally seeing, you know, an opportunity pop up here and there's energy of maybe training, dedication, and you find that this could be what you needed because the Knight of Pentacles shows whatever is coming in this page of cups, you are going to stick to it. There's this energy of commitment and that's what this Knight of Pentacles um, represents for you, Aries. It's like commitment. Once the Knight has the task at hand, it does not stop. It will go through rain, storm, <laughs> you know, rainbows uh, to get to the end destination. So, and it does not get easily distracted. So there's also this energy of, you know, seeing it through. You're, you're going to find yourself curious to see, okay, where will this path take me? If I really give it my all, if I really commit to it and see where it takes me. Now, what we also see coming in here as we look at the Emperor and the Seven of Swords, the Emperor shows control, okay? 
So I would not doubt if some of you have been separating yourself from situations that did not allow you to have control. Maybe they or it, you know, it could be a person, it could be an energy. Th that situation had a control over you, for some of you, Aries, and you did not like that feeling. You did not like that there was this energy of maybe your schedule, you know, controlling your life or your job, controlling, you know, when you can go on vacation, when you can see your family, maybe projects. It could be um, people, too. They were trying to control what you wanted to pursue, you know, it could be family members, could be spouse, but um, we do see that you are grip like exiting or escaping that grip of control, and you that control is going to be given and put into your hands, so to speak. The Seven of Swords shows here that you are going to come across some type of truth. There's this truth here where you know something so strongly that you cannot allow something to go back to what it once was. Okay, it's almost like the matrix. Like you have seen something so clearly, you cannot go back behind these doors. The doors have opened up. The floodgates have opened up. And now you are taking what you have seen, what you have experienced, what you have heard, learned, acquired, and you're taking it to higher ground, literally, okay? You are taking it to possibly work up yourself, be your own boss, have control over your own life. The emperor also shows secrets so some of you have like a secret uh secret plan a secret strategy and that could be why you have been on hiatus you have possibly cut communication from certain people in your life maybe i see some of you too aries you maybe aren't on social media as often maybe your friends or family are tr trying to check up on you on instagram or facebook um or messaging and you're just like mm, you've been quiet you've been quiet because you've been working on something You've been working on your secret mission, so to speak. And that's confirmed here as we look at the Four of Pentacles. This energy shows this energy of being cons conserved, reserved, um, holding, holding on, and not giving out freely. So there's this energy of possibly saving your money, saving up for something, uh, a large deposit. Also, this energy of investing. A lot of you are looking to invest in something that you know will pay off or at least what you see is valuable there could be news about production starting too if you haven't heard anything about maybe a housing update or a relocation that's why the four of swords is possibly coming in here too maybe news has been still and then all of a sudden boom you get an email you get some type of confirmation you get an update taking place and now you're back on the road you're back on the path and it's just the thing that you needed to hear but as we look at the Ace of Cups, under the Two of Cups, new love is going to be coming in your path for some of you Aries that are single. For others that are already in a happy relationship, I do see that there's going to be happy times for you and your partner, possibly happy news surrounding them or you. For those that are not looking for love or interested in love at all, this is still applicable, Aries, because the Ace of Cups shows the ultimate ultimate joy okay so you could be seeing that there is joy and satisfaction in something or someone coming your way but what i do see here as we look at the eight of cups moving towards the ace of cups it could be you you are stepping in and creating your own happiness you are leaving because the eight of cup energy represents leaving behind something that is now running dry and look how full this water is you're like i'm not going to stay where the well is dry i'm going to go where the waterfall is overflowing so you could be finding yourself not satisfied with your environment or where you're at and you're going to find yourself going where the grass is greener okay at least where you think uh because the knight of pentacles you see the flowers there is growth happening all around them oh look at that as your confirming ending message, we see Wheel of Fortune and the Fool. Okay, whoa. So this is crazy because it is showing, look, your world is about to change. Things are turning. 
Uh, the, the Wheel of Fortune, it could be travel too. Some of you could be getting an update regarding travel, a trip, um, because the Fool shows an area that you haven't explored, somewhere where you've never gone, ne never been, never experienced before. So there are beautiful new experiences coming your way. Um, some of those experiences could be, you know, new passions, uh, meeting new friends and connections but also finding yourself being passionately committed to something that you know is going to be a positive effect and a great investment to your future Aries. So I'm excited to see what the rest holds for you. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to Lily Lights Tarot, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay well and be blessed.